there, man. Have you got any Borbic and Lager? <laughs> it's exactly like normal Lager, but with all the alcohol taken out. Sorry, mate, no. <laughs> It makes me smile, hi, hi, oh. Yes, it makes me smile, hi, hi, oh. Kev, 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 did you catch Imagine with Alan Yentov last night? Oh, I did. Such a delightfully sideways look at the arts. <laughs> it's my contention, Kev, that Alan has completely reinvigorated the arts show genre. And such a super title, Imagine, for his jumping off point, simply bristle with imagination. Indeed, but I must stop you there momentarily, Kev. There appears to be a young lady at street level eating a fast melting ice lolly. Suck it! You slay! Swallow it, you dirty bitch! Go lick it up! Good! One really must salute her savoir faire under what can only be described as an appalling bombardment of sexist abuse. <laughs> you were saying, apropos of Yentob. Oh, yes. We all remember his successful tenure as control of BBC One. It is my belief that he should now be made Director General of the whole BBC. <laughs> and it's Alan Yentop. Alan Yentop for DG. He's by far the best Director General the BBC ever seen. Good afternoon. I'm Nelson Mandela. Do you like getting blind drunk? Then you will appreciate my absinthe. Nelson Mandela's absinthe. It will make you drunk. It will make you blind. How is it possible to lose your reason and your eyesight? Nelson Mandela's absinthe. Let us get shit faced. <laughs> There, man. Twenty Borbick and Benson and Hedges, please. They're exactly like normal Benson and Hedges, but with all the hedges taken out. Sorry, mate. I'll eat. <laughs> what about Spain? Not too common. Everyone goes Spain. Half the streets there. What about France? What, all that garlic? Plus, plus they just shit wherever they like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard that, yeah. <laughs> what about crews? Yeah, crews? Salmonella, Legionnaires, Alzheimer's, E. coli, E. bolai, E. buoy. It's going to be hard work, isn't it? Uh, what about Morocco? <laughs> You want me to lose this baby? <laughs> you want me to go to Morocco on a donkey and eat a bit of meat that's been cooked in a toilet two weeks ago by an 85-year-old woman who looks like David Dickinson? <laughs> don't no, no, just... you've had your say, Ashley. You want me to get leprosy, don't you? Yeah, you do. You want me to lose my legs, lose my arms, lose my nose and lose this baby? No, I just want to book us an holiday, babe. <laughs> yeah, look, I've got you some tea and some antibacterial wipes. What about Australia, then? You having a bubble bath? It's a very clean country, Australia. They have spiders in Australia that crawl up your asshole. <laughs> and you don't know whose asshole that spider has been up. And that spider might be walking around your hotel room covered in someone else's you-know-what. Disgusting. Wash your hands. <laughs> what about Turkey? Bird flu. Egypt. Dog flu. Thailand. Venereal disease. The Canaries. Oh, Gemma went there. She it was really, really nice, but you can't get no sausages. Cyprus. Cat flu. Hong Kong. Hong Kong, King Kong, monkey flu. <laughs> I've just come round to load the dishwasher. <laughs> Jesus, look at the state of you. Have some emergency oxygen. <gasps> you dead? What's he done to you now? He's taken the mickey, Dad. He wants me to go to a minging country full of dirty people. Don't you worry, Princess. I'll sort it. I'll book you two weeks on a mere space station. Breakfast included, no dirty old food, one pill does all. And it's all sluiced out your doobry, straight into the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. End of the day, you're the best dad in the world, Dad. 
Let's end up. Oh, 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 oh. Look at him. Oh, look at him. He's got a hump, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a hump. He's got a hump, Ashley. Yeah, he's got a hump. Ashley, he's got a hump. He's got a hump, hasn't he? Come on, Ashley. Come and have an hug. Yeah, Come on, Shay. Little cuddle, Ashley. Oh, Come on. Have a little cuddle. Come on, Ashley. Hands. <laughs> We're here to meet Britain's latest hopeful in the Boxing World Championships. Fighting out of East London, lower middle welter flyweight, Kenny Layton, and his manager, Dickie Muff. Here, yeah, jab, jab, jab. Get behind a jab, Kenny. Work the body, cover up. Good chin, chin down, eyes up. Up on your toes, Kenny. Jab, jab, jab. Jab, jab, jab. Put the up, guy. <laughs> well, everyone knows what we're going to get with Kenny. As you can see, he's a terrific prospect. So he's a great young fighter. He's 53. And he's got it all. He's got bags of art. He's got... Great chin, and he's got dynamite in both fists. And let me tell you, this won't be a tickling contest. Jab, jab, jab. Get me on a jab, Kenny. Just leave Keep me your alone. Punches short. Stop the punching. Work the body. Work the body. Good chin. Good chin. Right across. <laughs> Kenny Layton. Irrepressible. Jab, jab. Get oh, me on a jab. Work the body. Stop the punches. Go away. Up your toes. Up your toes. Irritating. Jab, get off. Jab, jab. Don't take the piss, Kenny. Come on. <laughs> Jose Arrogantio, another incident this week involving Didier Peskovic, this time with an old lady. Mm, you know, I think when we see footage, uh, it's a very small incident, it's blow out of all proportion. <laughs> I think if you see this again, you can see that Didier was simply trying to hail a taxi. If you look again from uh, this angle also, the lady is very cynical, she's dived, she's practiced these tactics at the Women's Institute. <laughs> You can see she's making much meal of this. Didier is simply raising his hand and saying, Taxi, taxi, please, taxi, take me home to Penthouse via lap dance club. Mm. I like to start the day by grinding my own coffee. There's nothing like the smell of the real thing. Hurrah! <laughs> and then I'll pop into my kitchen garden and harvest some strawberries or raspberries or pears or whatever's right for the time. And then after that, I shall make toast from my own homemade bread. I don't have a machine or anything like that. I knead it and bake it on a loaf-by-loaf -loaf basis so it's as fresh as it could possibly be. Marvellous! Yes, but if you'd spend a little less time making breakfast and a little more time talking to your wife, she wouldn't be leaving you to shack up with this smarmy tosspot. <laughs> it's a bit quiet around here today, isn't it, son? Bored shitless. We go Nick Pete Doxy again. Oh no, his toaster is broken and he's trying to put this slice of bread in the TV slot. <laughs> oh my cranky gosh. Now his hands is all covered in breadcrumbs and he's trying to wash them but he's inadvertently smashed the sink off the wall by accident. <laughs> <laughs> the water has splashed all over his trousers in the genital area, so now he looks like he's urinated himself. <laughs> Just look at the hilarious consequences of his actions. <laughs> oh no, that is much too big a bunch of helium balloons to give to a tiny girl. <laughs> I told you, now she's floating away. And her mum is very annoyed. But she thinks Ow. it's the other man that's given her the balloons. And she's hitting the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for him, but actually he adds to the joke, which is side splitting. <laughs> because it's the wrong person that she's hitting. <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute classic of comedy. <laughs> I bet they're roaring even in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> oh there, man. Have you got any barbican Mars bars? <laughs> they're exactly like normal Mars bars. 
but with all the chocolate and nougat taken out. <laughs> Sorry, mate, no. I'll eat. <laughs> Arch, I'll tell you, my head doesn't feel too good today, huh? <laughs> I went there last night with some guys from South Africa and some girls who are over here being ninnies. And uh, we go to this pub, right? And uh, I don't know, we must have had 20, 25 pints each. And after that, all the guys dropped their trousers and got their dicks out. <laughs> and all the girls took their bras off and got their titties out. And then we were all sick everywhere. <laughs> Just sick, sick, sick. And then, like, some of the girls urinated. And then we were slipping in our own sick. And, and, then, and then we have a few more drinks, right? <laughs> I'll tell you, and then we're all sick again. Oh, it was so funny, man. You would have absolutely loved it. <laughs> no pain, no gain, man. Look, could you please stop doing this? You're very irritating. Yeah, Dad, 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 give me on. Dad, what a body cover up. Oh, you're like one of those boring <laughs> boys at school. Keep punching short. <sighs> Don't get the up gut, Kenny. Stop what? it. Like that. Dad, stop Dad, 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 get me on the Dad. Dad, stop it. Take Kenny. Shake it off. Hi. Hi. My chum raves about this place. Oh, really? Yeah. Mariella Willis Spencer Lawson. Excellent. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, this is uh, quite a striking piece of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> I really like it. Our home's really modern. I think it would look good there. Yeah, I think all your friends will think you're very sophisticated if you have this kind of shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Who is it by? It's actually done by my brother. Oh, really? Yeah, he's a hopeless smack addict who's laughably decided he's an artist. Oh, gosh. Hmm. He took it down to the White Cube Gallery and they laughed him out of shortage. But fortunately, there's quite a market for this particular type of wank around here. And what's it on for? Right, well, uh, it's quite a rare work. He hardly ever gets out of bed. And, of course, I did see you coming. Right, of course. Um, so, your husband... Uh, He's just sold his media company for a fortune. It's £20,000. <laughs> plus VAT. Hmm? So, £60,000 altogether. I'll take it. Do you deliver? No. OK. <clears throat> and if my husband doesn't like it, can I bring it back? No. Okay. Um... I'm suddenly thinking maybe I should bring him in for a look before I buy. Well, there are quite a few other thick ladies who are quite interested in this particular piece of toss. Oh. Mm. So it probably would have gone. I'm taking it. There we go. Thanks very Thanks much. Thanks so much. Don't forget the painting. God! <laughs> I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now. Bye. Oh there, man. Have you any Barbic and Ron seal? It does exactly what it says on the tin, but with all the stuff on the tin taken out. Sorry about that. I'll eat. A very good evening. I'm Nelson Mandela, and I'm very excited about the new narcotic drug I have managed to produce. I have called it Crackabus. <laughs> With Crackabus, it is possible to experience the extreme high of crack cocaine and the soporific effects of a high quality cannabis. <laughs> so you can go completely mental. <laughs> and I do not recommend that you drive on it. Mike Mandela, you mind dealer. <laughs> What ho, my donna, my darling, my diamond bird? I thought I might partake in purchasing a new motor today, don't you know, don't you know, for fuck's sake? That's a groovy idea. 
What kind of fucking jam jar are you gonna buy? Well, I don't want nothing what the oi polloi might have, don't you know, don't you know? A fact sake. I thought I might get a vavolf for voice. Oh, yeah, Chris Martin got the same goddamn pair of wheels, ain't he, or blimey and all? You don't know your motors, don't you? You really are the vavolf for voice of trouble and strife, my little New York Italian piece of matrimonial pussy. <laughs> Or if it's all blimey. I was heartily considering purchasing my Vavols for voice off of off the same geezer what Chris Martin purchased his off of off of. You like copying Chris Martin, don't you? You got a bit of a thing about him. Are you calling me a shirtlifter? <laughs> My darling, my diamond bint. That sharp bloke in the testicles has entirely restored me former lordly ways. <laughs> Careful, <laughs> promenade around the room. Look at them sheep in that field. <laughs> Woolly wankers, and they? Don't you know, for fuck's sake. I just feel like such a fool. Oh, babe, it's not your fault. <sighs> I tell you, that's it for me. No more men who come out of nowhere and promise you the earth. You ladies seem sad. Allow me to cheer you up. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but you're exactly the sort of man I'm trying to avoid right now. Why? Have you got something against chocolatiers? Two specimens caught in my chocolate lady net. It's good, isn't it? You know it. Oh, hi. Uh, you haven't seen a cat, have you? It's black and white. It's got one black paw. The other... Jeb, Jeb, oh, Jeb. Black and white cat. Oh. Ring for off, then use ropes. Duck and dive, duck and dive. Get me on a jab. Jab, jab, jab. Oh. Good scene. Cut across scene. Combination. Work the body. Oh. Black and white cat. 20 quid reward. Lovely, lovely. Keep it coming, Kenny. Pop out the jab. Stop snap it. it out. Snap it out. Snap, snap, snap. Come on, Kenny. Work the body. Oh. Mm -hmm. Count the punch. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Take the eight can, Kenny. Shake it off. <laughs> use the ropes, Kenny. Go and have a cup of tea. <laughs> no cat, then. <laughs> So Margaret Beckett, Foreign Secretary, surprisingly intelligent, but totally frigid, according to my sources. <laughs> mm. Wouldn't go down on Keanu Reeves if he begged it. <laughs> what about that filly in charge of the Lords? Baroness Amos? Yeah. Nickname, Baroness takes it up the Amos. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Clive's having a bath. <gasps> What is he doing? Yeah, you're not coming. Just be quiet. <laughs> He's not moving very much, is he? That's because we've disturbed him. Just keep still and he'll think we've gone away. <laughs> Man, have you got a copy of the Borbic and Independent Newspaper? <laughs> it's exactly like the normal independent newspaper, but with all the depressing shit about the world ending on the front page. <laughs> Take it over. Sorry, mate. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're tired of 
Hey, Bill Gates of Microsoft. Hi, Steve Jobs of Apple. How are you? I'm good. Hi. Hey, Bill. I got a photo I think you'd really like to see here. <laughs> wow, what a babe. Mm, she's a cutie, isn't she? That is one foxy little chip. <laughs> it's an Intel Core 2 Duo. Oh, yeah. It's actually two execution cores built into a single chip. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it uses Intel's groundbreaking 65 nanometer process, making Cinebench multiple CPU rendering 15% faster. I love it when you talk like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. I love this Intel. I want to kiss it. I wouldn't do that if I was you, Bill. It'll get in the press. You know how they love a kiss Intel story. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll just take her number. All righty then. It's 07812-000-7WZYPTZ5006-0071. 212-000-6727271111111110. Yeah, I got it. You know the most exciting thing about these chips? What? They allow Macs to boot Windows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. Huh. Oh, you got me. Yeah. Oh, at last we're compatible. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Is that a little hardy in your pants? You betcha. Why don't you get it out? Whoa. It's oh. so shiny. Yeah, I'm constantly stroking it. Uh, why don't you stick it in my slot? Yeah? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, ready? Stick it in my slot. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. it fits uh, so good. Oh, oh yeah. It's so oh, it's oh, yeah. so tight. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, we wiggle it like uh, that? Oh, yeah, you like that? Uh-huh. 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 Oh! You pulled out just before I ejected it. Oh. <laughs> Computers interrupted. <laughs> you know, smoking my own meats has completely transformed my life. One really can't taste the difference. <laughs> of course, I use only locally reared organic meats, and instead of any old charcoal, I use oak chitting that I cut myself from a local sustainable forest just across the border in Hertfordshire. Now, by smokery, I constructed myself out of reclaimed bricks, which I excavated from the foundations of a manor house that had sadly fallen into disrepair. And put all these elements together, and what does one get? One bloody good slice of ham. Mm. Look, Buster, stop poncing about in your smokery and start earning a living. They're repossessing your shitty pine furniture. <laughs> all right, so? Hello, Tim. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Here. Yeah. You never guess who I just saw in the street out there. Who is it? Ronan Atkinson. <laughs> it's Rowan Atkinson, not Ronan. What? Yeah, it's Ronan Keating. Rowan Atkinson's Mr. Bean. It's Ronan Atkinson. No, it ain't. It is. It's Ronan Atkinson. No, it ain't. It is. No, it ain't. It is. No, it ain't. It is. It's Rowan. No. Yes, it is. It's Ronan Atkinson. No, it ain't. It's Ronan Atkinson. No, it ain't. Ronan Atkinson. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Back down. No. 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 I can't. My old man couldn't back down and he messed my head up too. So you back down and me it's Ronan Atkinson while I beat your face to a pulp in front of your boy. Back down! <laughs> it's Ronan Atkinson. Oh, phew. Oh, cool, that was a close run thing, wasn't it? I nearly gouged your old man's eyes out there. <laughs> yeah. He would have been blind as a plunket. What? You know, David Plunkett, politician. Beard. Dog. It's David... What? It's David Plunkett. <laughs> God, that chocolate muffin looks good. I think I might get one of these. It's okay. Leave it. <laughs> well, now, I've... Now, if you saw the big fight on Saturday night, you would have noticed the punishment taken by Kenny Layton in his match with Julio Alberto. Uh, he was punished the whole way through the first round. So much punishment that, in fact, the referee called a halt after that punishing first round. But he's back in the gym today. He's back training. So, Kenny, that's 53 knockouts in a row. Uh, how are you feeling? You're back in the training, and, and how are you feeling today?
doesn't look too good, does he? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get back to the studio. Sarah, it's all girls these days in our business, isn't it, Kenny? Taking over. No jobs for the likes of me and Jim Rosenthal. <laughs> no, it's all women. Kenny Layton. Not looking too good after that punishing fight. Oh there, man. Have you got any CDs by Barbic and Bon Jovi? Don't think so, mate. Yeah, exactly like the normal Bon Jovi, but with all the Jovi taken out. <laughs> so it's just Bon then? Barbic and Bon, aye. <laughs> Get out of my shop, you Nazi. <laughs> There's nothing a woman loves more than a man who can cook for her. The gold rule is, the way to a woman's heart is through her stomach. Tragically, I seem to be the exception to this rule. Thank you for coming to the launch of Kick Racism Out of Football. To help me with that launch is Dean Warren and Dede Ah! Oh! 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 to the Barbic and Big Brother house. <laughs> it's exactly like the normal Big Brother house, but with all the contestants taken out. 